Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie, and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Harlow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm.
are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. It is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my... I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveller, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Wish I thought. Next composition took some She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? 
She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Sebastian. Did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter what happens from here, I'm glad we met. Poor Sebastian. Ominous. What a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Feldcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health, now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I... I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you 
When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of a... Uh, Human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidges? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us? Ferdinand is every bit a prat, but hanging him in the hog's head. Marvellous improvements here. you've brewed. <laughs> <laughs> 